That's, like, that's, I'm gonna be honest, bro. Straight up, <laughs> I put on Golden Eye with a bunch of friends the other night. I was devastated. <laughs> no, I was like, dude, you're I wrong. Was, I, no, I, it's I, good. I, All right, welcome back to another uh, bootleg version of the Squadcast with the world supposedly ending or whatever's happening. Who knows? But <laughs> Hopefully I'm not. I'm here. Hey, I've been waiting for a while to have this dude on. Uh, Retro Rick is the name of his channel, by the way. Uh, he's one of my favorites. You know, there's there's a couple other channels that are kind of like my favorites as far as like what I do. I feel like they're into the exact same things that I do. One is Ed's Retro Geek Out and then Retro mm-hmm. Rick as well. So Rick, Hello what's up man thank you for having me on this is awesome i've been watching this dude for a while and to hang out with you it's pretty sweet bro you know it, it only took the world supposedly ending to get us together yeah we're just, we're just now bored enough to make this happen it's whatever it's, it's whatever we had to do but yeah i think when, when we were talking i'm like hey dude you should totally come on we should do this uh for us, we're both huge toy collectors, huge 90s collectors, mm-hmm. huge video game collectors so i thought it'd be kind of a fun topic like which one of these, there is no better answer, but which one do you prefer overall? If you could get the grails of each type of toys and the funds or the grails of each type of video games and the fun collectibles, which in your opinion, where are you putting your hat in the ring? Man, I'll, okay, I'll say this. If you would have asked me that two years ago, uh-huh. totally video games, completely video games. Dude, I don't know what happened. Like in the past year or so, I've, I have really enjoyed collecting toys. I don't know exactly what it is. I, th- I think one, one, one thing I love about it is you're not like in borders in, in toys. It's sure. like, I can go, I can go game hunt and it's like, Oh yeah, there's that one of the 280 N64 games. I've seen all of this stuff before yeah. and it's cool to see, yeah. but like toy stuff, it's like, I can go to some weird thrift store and see this Pee Wee Herman doll or Pee Wee Herman, That's whatever Herman. that I'm like, I've never freaking seen that before. And I'm like, I get, I get amped about that. I don't know. And it's just like, I'm not, I'm not like pigeon held to these borders now. I guess. I don't know. I feel like I'm kind of with you on the same boat. And I feel like it's both for the same reason. I feel like we both got into, or a lot of the people, like when nostalgia kind of hit hard, I feel like it hit hard for everybody with video games. And that's kind of where we all started. And not that we got bored of it, but like you said, when I see those rare games or super rare games that I, people have been talking about for so long, at this point, I've been to a million video game co- conventions mm-hmm. that I've yeah. seen them. I don't have that shock and awe of like, oh, I didn't know that didn't exist. So now, of course, there are still things that I don't know exist. And or, you know, I'll see like a random cart that was never released where I'm like, whoa, that's cool. Mm-hmm. But I think I've always had nostalgia for toys being a 90s kid. But I never got to dive deep into them like I am now. So right now I can say I honestly get more excited like you kind of being in the toy realm. It excites yeah. me again. Yeah. I do too, man. So what what toy lines are you really into right now? I think, I mean, the things I had the most as a kid is probably because I'm so fresh into toys. I would have to say it's going to be TMNT, uh, anything Batman. Uh, I have a, a story where it's, I'll say it super short, where my dad, when he used to, when he used to make a lot of money for about one year of our childhood, they gave, they gave him a thousand dollars per kid bonus at his work. And they said, okay. you only can spend a thousand dollars on your kids. Each kid gets a thousand dollars worth of Christmas presents. That's and a bunch one, of Christmas presents, bro. And one year I came in my living room and my dad spent $1,000 only on Batman toys. So it was, oh. I had a room Oh my gosh! full of every accessory, Robin variant version, this, that horse that came with it, Batmobile. So that was, that was big. For That's me. amazing. Hey, I just found, I just got the complete, I've been looking for these forever, bro. The Batman forever glasses, like the frosted. Yes. yes. I yes, just yes. got, I just got those. I think they're from McDonald's. I just got, I just got all those, but yeah, man, Batman stuff's awesome. I think it's Batman, cool. uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger as Mr. Freeze is like the epitome of Arnold Schwarzenegger is always the epitome of catchphrases, but I feel like we really got almost like Simpsons style catchphrases with Mr. Yeah. Freeze. It just some of that good stuff. That's awesome. Know. Oh, and also Simpsons toys. That's big for me, but I want to know about you. Yeah, Simpsons, man. I see. I was never. I wasn't able to watch The Simpsons. I grew up in a very moral family. They're like, I had, well, there's cussing or at least a little weird stuff in there. So You're not I. watching that. So did I. Um, I just, just snuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I, I I tend to really like. Um, I do the whole nostalgia thing, but I like I like things that are attached to movies for some reason. I don't 
I don't know exactly why, but like I recently got a Turbo Man that was like one of my grails. Oh, it's a Turbo great. Man. It's right, literally right over here. From Jingle All the um, Way. Yeah, um, I love I love that. And then <laughs> I think me and you've talked about this a little a little bit before. I'm like really into the Talk Boy stuff. Yeah, I you have are. I have like so most people just know the Talk Boy from Home Alone, yeah. Home Alone Two. There's like over 20 different Talkboy products, and I somewhere along the line got really infatuated with this thing. <laughs> yeah, when you told I don't me know that why you were me that I was I was really surprised because I think I've only seen like two versions of Talkboys while being out in the wild. And funny enough, both of us have kind of like a little bit of a Home Alone obsession. Uh, oh yeah. So definitely, when you told me that, and you kind of sent me some of these pictures. I was like, I didn't know these existed. Again, why toys can be yeah. so fun and toys I. I always struggle with toys. Does that also fall into like the knickknack category? Like, like the Mario walkie talkies over there. Oh, like, I love that, those. Do, do oh my gosh. Oh yeah. You texted oh me about that. That's right. Yes. Oh, they're right there. Uh, Dang. I love uh, those things. I'm in my son's yeah. room, by the way, for those who are wondering. Okay. But yeah. Cool. Okay. Uh, you know what? Let's jump on now that we're kind of talking about nineties vintage as always. Uh, I was going to say, what's the best nineties animated show, but let's just say what's the, What's your favorite best 90s show ever? Okay, 90s. Man, I feel like all the shows I liked from when I was a kid, they almost all started like late 80s Okay. and kind of like snuck into the 90s. So I don't know how you want to classify that. You can go for that. Um, I liked a lot of shows like, like The Wonder Years. I oh, watched... Yeah. The mess out of the Wonder Years yeah. with my dad. I liked I liked uh, Boy Meets World, which oh, was yeah, like more like ninety three. Topanga was everyone's crush, though. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. But uh, I guess I like the Savage Brothers because it's both Ben's. I liked Growing Pains a lot. Um, I never got super into Growing Pains, but I definitely, really definitely yeah. Yeah, well, I don't. And I was trying to think like too why I like those two shows. I was a pretty average kid, like in right. like growing up, and yeah. like isn't that. Uh, yeah. Ben and um, yeah, they're both like mediocre, middle of the road kids, and it just it felt super relatable to me. Yeah, no, so I like I like those so much. I actually can see that it's very very like middle America type, just regular family, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, I think if I had to just nail it down to one, um, I think Family Matters was one of my favorite shows for sure. Probably would lock it in as my favorite. Dang. Uh, okay. It's just one of those shows where you you don't realize how much of an attachment you had to it until you like go on a YouTube and watch every '90s intro ever, and then oh, that, yeah. and then you hear that one and you're like, oh, it hits oh, hard. I didn't <laughs> yes. realize, and then you get swarmed with this flood of like, wow, I really spent a lot of time as a kid watching TGIF Family Matters. Oh and, man, uh, I don't know. Maybe it's because Urkel's overly loud and overly annoying, and that's that's how I am. That's how I feel I am. So I don't know. Maybe I relate. Isn't he also the voice of Sonic? Urk, I don't know. Uh, Jaleel White is his name. Yeah, I don't. He's know the voice. Wow, he's that, the that voice of really Sonic. Cool. I from from the cartoon. Um, I ha actually I just got this recently. I got two um, Urkel coloring books oh, and oh, that's a. Awesome. And a magic slate. Remember Magic Slate? Yep. Yeah. Dude, that I is have awesome. an Urkel. Did I have an Urkel magic slate. Urkel? I have an Urkel doll for sure. I don't I have that. Dang it. What about best animated? Just throw it out. What you can give us a time. <laughs> man, I guess I just like the middle of the road guys. I like Doug, man. Doug was oh, my Doug show. Was I, I loved I loved that show. Um again, I wasn't I wasn't allowed to watch like Simpsons, Be Beavis and Butthead. I couldn't watch any. I was like more like a Nickelodeon kid growing up. Um yeah, Doug was it, man. I remember watching a lot of Recess when I was a kid. Okay. Um, I remember also, which not many people like, I remember I used to get really excited and I used to jump around in my parents' bed when I would watch Bonkers. Did you ever hear of Bonkers? Oh, yeah. Bonkers. So that was, uh, that was, is that Cartoon Network? I don't remember. Or Fox? I don't think See, we, we didn't have the cable, so I don't think it was. We didn't either. We didn't either. I don't know how it worked, but we had we had Nickelodeon, so we had. I guess we had something. Yeah. But I like literally just watched Nickelodeon. Like people oh, talk right. about Cartoon Network and it was your thing. Dexter's Laboratory. I never watched oh, any of that stuff. I never really watched any of it. I mean, I did watch like the Animaniacs and stuff like that, but. The Animaniacs um, was also great. I don't know, man. I suck, Chip, suck Chip and Dale's them. might be if I had to pick like an actual top. I really enjoyed Chippendales. I watched it again recently too with my kids and they were into it. So it was really cool. To see. Okay. So is that something that you're doing? Are you, cause my son, my son's two. Okay. So he's not quite, he's not quite there. Like even, even for him, he watches YouTube videos and it's like, 
he wants to watch something different after three yeah, minutes. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, what in the world? But I, he hasn't quite got to the point where I'm showing him these old things. So do your kids like it when, when, yeah, they, so when they see it, when they watch it? Or they're like, my, what is this? My son's nine and he's definitely the most interested out of the bunch. I have two daughters as well. Uh, my middle daughter is kind of into them, but my son, he's, he's not your average like nine, 10 year old boy. Uh, a lot of the kids at his school are very like, uh, how do you say overly hyper like really into like the Fortnite and trying to mm -hmm. be trendy and stuff he's kind of like, <laughs> yeah. like the anti-trend kid okay and he has a cool little group of friends who they like like the weird retro stuff and they like to talk about like more that is and amazing they, they, okay. they literally come over his buddies come over and they trade like geo rocks like they have rock collections and that's what they're into they want to know science and all that so it's really cool do you think do you think the, do you think they're influenced at all by what you do and like you're on youtube and stuff like that um, like his dad does this and he kind of got into it kinda, i think my son would hear me joke about like you know trends and stuff and always don't don't worry about trends and kind of just do what you're into and i can no. tell him as a kid like he would want to do what people are doing because as a kid that's kind of what you want to do mm -hmm. it's like you know dad i'm, I'm not really <laughs> dad i'm not into this like do i have to be into it because people are i'm like no dude if if you genuinely don't like this type of thing don't you don't have to pretend like you're down with it do be true to you if you if you want to be a dork and collect rocks be a dork and collect rocks like you know what i mean yeah so it's been cool oh, dude i can't believe your son's nine <laughs> I started watching you like, when, when did you really start putting up videos? Oh, guy, 2012 or 13, maybe? Yeah, so that means like seven. He was like a, like a baby yeah. two, three-year-old. Yeah, on, on some of the Nine. videos, where we, they were just literally babies, man, back then when Ricky that's, and I first That's wild. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, it was cool. All right, here's a, one, one last question that can kind of keep us chatting for a little bit to keep our, okay. our brains busy. Kind of off, off topic. What's the best console of all time? In your mind, best game console of all time. Um, this one's always hard for me. I've been asked this before. Yeah, I, I've always gone and like it depends on the season uh, or the years where I was growing up. You know, like I grew up on the Genesis. Like that was my first my first console. And the uh, I grew up in a family that wasn't like super wealthy, so we were always like a console behind. Got I always picked up. You I'm know, with you. I'm with you know, <laughs> that's yeah. just that's just what happened. So I grew up with the Genesis up until like. Dude, probably 95, 90, 1996. Wow. And then I got a Super Nintendo. And then shortly after that, I got an N64. I think I have a really strong attachment to the N64 because I was starting to like buy my own games at wow. that point. You know what I mean? I was mowing lawns. I was doing everything I could to pick up some Pokemon game yeah, for or sure. whatever it was. But I would say my favorite console to sit down and play it's probably the Super Nintendo, man. There's just yeah. so many, there's so many great games on there that are just so easy to pick up and play. And how many titles are on the Super Nintendo? Like 700 uh, or something crazy? It, it's crazy because <clears throat> the Super Nintendo is one of those consoles. I mean, obviously nowadays it's almost, it, it's kind of weird to throw in like the category of like the Switch and the Xbox because at this point, a lot of these games are becoming downloadable and they're making a lot of indie throwback style games. But I think in like, you know, minus the new three, um, I would definitely have to say the Super Nintendo is my my console of choice as well, just because. Dang. Okay. I don't know. I like the NES is really where like a lot of my childhood was, but I feel like the Super Nintendo just did everything the Nintendo did, but just cranked it up to eleven and was like, "Hey, yeah, this is this is a better graphical version. This is a better sound version. This is better uh, storyboarding." And but but it still held all those same elements of like side scrolling and platforming and mm -hmm. the style of game that it was. I feel like it stayed true to all that, but just gave us like a, a better version of it. Well, dude, I play, I play the super Nintendo now and I still feel like the games are just as good. Some of the, some of the NES stuff I play and it, I almost have to force myself to be like, this is pretty good, right? Is I it have good? nostalgia no, is it? for this. Is it? it's like, I'm going to be honest, bro. Straight up. <clears throat> I put on golden eye with a bunch of friends the other night. I was devastated. <laughs> no, I was like, dude, you're I was, wrong. I, I, no, it's good. I, I was bummed, bro. I'm going to be honest with you. All of our friends were like, Golden Eye, it's been years. We got him. We were like, let's get a pizza and watch a movie. <laughs> I, maybe it's because I've been I've been so used to playing first person shooters on with the control. Oh, I think it was yeah. more the controls. I couldn't remember how to to move around properly in mm -hmm. Goldeneye. Don't, no hate on the N64. I love the N64. Okay, wait. For uh, what, what was your first first 
first-person shooter game? First first-person shooter game would probably be, be could probably Goldeneye. Or really? Like Doom. PC? Okay. Mine was Wolfenstein. Wolfenstein. Yeah, so I don't I, I definitely wasn't Wolfenstein. Again, I was at home and I think my parents, like you, were I wasn't a I wasn't allowed to be playing any of that. I got Super Noah's oh. R 3D though. No, I'm just kidding, I did not get that. <laughs> <laughs> never played it. I've heard oh, of it. Oh really? Yeah, it, it looks no. like Doom or something, but yeah. So I don't know. Yeah, out of consoles, man, I think the Super Nintendo just holds two Whenever I have that chance to be like, oh, look, my friend gave me a Wii that's modded with all the different emulators without thinking, Super Nintendo games. I go straight yeah. to Super Nintendo. But it's weird. I do, I do the same thing. What yeah. game, though? Uh, dude, my favorite game of all time is Earthbound. Really? I've, played okay. through that, I've played through that game, I can't do it over 100 times. Wow. Like, I'm not kidding. I've played that game so many times. Okay. And then I, Super Mario World, I, I don't know. It's just one of those games that I pick up <laughs> and I get... Well, and especially in this day and time, you got kids, yeah. jobs. It's like I only have 15 minutes. Yeah. So I want to pick up something that I can play, bust, bust through, through four, levels. and then be like, okay, when I pick it up, it'll be right there. That's where I'm at right now. Yeah, I'm with you on that. But yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. Well, Rick, that's it, bro. You, you promise you'll hop on more of these with me? Because this is I too easy. I would love to. This is just too <laughs> easy for me. I'm going to be honest with you right now. Yeah. So... But again, uh, I know these look a little more bootleg than normal. This is this is a uh, quarantine talks brought to you by Pixel Game Squad. But uh, stay you safe, it. people. Check stay check safe. out Retro Rick. Yes, please be safe. Wash your hands. Uh, don't resell stuff that you haven't cleaned. But you got to watch Retro Rick if you like our show. Honestly, you're gonna like Retro Rick. It's just a it's a hand in hand you, type of thing. I promise. So yeah, and, and you have good quality, bro. That's what you know. I, I, we don't uh, show I'm it trying. here right now with what we're doing <laughs> no, right now. This is my dang computer. <laughs> computer I'm... normally we all have good quality not this video but i appreciate it man thank yeah, you yeah absolutely all right i'm gonna hit stop record tell everybody adios later adios